Okay, so here's the plan. We have the hovercraft. It's archaic. It's almost eight years old. And the wood is rotten, the skirt is ripped, and the leaf blower doesn't work anymore. So now we're going to make a hoverboard using a thinner skirt, which will probably wear out quicker, but it'll be lighter. The board itself is made out of styrofoam. It's just a cheap surfboard. And we're going to use an electric leaf blower until we get a new gas leaf blower. And hopefully this will work really well. Okay, now you can see I've got the skirt cut. Um, it's probably a little bit big, but it's way better to cut your skirt a little big and have to make adjustments than it is to cut it too small and then realize that your craft doesn't work and then have to start completely over again. So, uh, what I plan to do is, I don't know how well this foam is going to actually hold staples, but I'm going to staple it to there and I'm going to put duct tape across that and uh, we'll see. We'll see how well it holds. Okay, I very quickly gave up on the staples and I've just got little, I believe they're two inch, maybe three inch screws and uh, I'm just gonna push these in with my fingers and if they get difficult, I'll use a screwdriver, but you don't need to use a drill. I don't think the staples would've worked at all, but uh, I'm just gonna space these out every maybe three or four inches. You don't have to be exact with it. Uh, this thing is not, it's not gonna be an exact job. You know, it's not, you're not racing it. You just want it to work and have a pretty good seal between the skirt and the deck. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and screw all these in. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to move into the garage. All right, I'll get to it. Okay, now you can see all the screws are on for the skirt. However, in between each screw, there's a gap where air can escape. That's where the duct tape comes in. And you can do it little piece by little piece, or you can try and do big long sections. It doesn't really matter. I do them in about uh, seven inch to foot long sections. It seems to make it easier going around the corners and stuff. Uh, you want to make sure you get a really good seal and you can use two or three layers of duct tape if you want to. It just depends on how much you have. Okay, the tape is on. Let's see, I've got a pretty good seal there. Um, the odds of this failing, I would say, are pretty high. The tape doesn't really want to stick to this fabric material on the surface of the board. Um, so we'll see about that. And also the chances are pretty high that the skirt could just tear completely away from the screws holding it in place. Uh, hopefully I used enough of them to where it'll distribute that force evenly. Um, our next step is to cut a hole in the back here about the same size, the same circumference as the output for the leaf blower. Um, if you're using wood, you'll want to use a jigsaw like we did with our wooden one. But since this is just foam and fabric, I'm going to use a box cutter. And that's not blood, it's paint, I promise. Okay, so this is the electric leaf blower I'm going to use. It's actually part of a shop vac. Um, this is actually the diffuser. It makes it quieter when you're using it as a shop vac. I'm first going to try it with this diameter just because this is a better attachment than that long piece or the hose. Um, if this doesn't work, then I'll make the hole bigger, a larger diameter, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and trace this out and cut it. Okay, the hole has been cut. I figure I don't need to show you guys that just yet. The next step is very crucial, and it is the grommet. What the grommet does is it makes the skirt inflate around it and make that donut shape that you hover on and you want to try and center this. This is actually the tray out of an old tackle box I had, but uh, people use coffee can lids and all kinds of stuff. Um, if it's an elongated hovercraft like this, you will want an elongated grommet. Just you want it to match the shape of your hovercraft as, as well as you can. And you don't want it to be too big to where it makes your skirt small, and you don't want it to be too small to where it makes your skirt too big. Uh, I'm not even sure if this is going to work properly. I don't know if it's long enough. If it's not long enough, you can always add more. But once you've drilled holes through your skirt, it's a lot harder to take your grommet away. So it's actually better to be too small in this case than to be too big. Uh, it's easier to add than subtract on this. Um, so I am going to take a drill and actually screw 
this in with those same screws that I used to secure the skirt and uh, hopefully it'll hold. If it doesn't hold, I may use nuts and bolts. Uh, feel free to use whatever whatever you think would be best, but you don't want it actually secured to your skirt, you want it secured to the deck. All right. All right, so now we have the grommet secured. The next step is to cut holes around the grommet for the air to come in to be forced out under the skirt to give you that lift. Um, this part's pretty easy. It's pretty hard to mess it up. Um, the only caution I would say is not to cut your holes too close to the edge of your skirt. You want to cut them pretty close to the grommet. It's okay if air comes out right around the grommet. You just don't want it to come out, you know, the sides of your skirt and leak out and take away your lift. So uh, I'll go ahead and cut the holes and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, I have cut my slits. Um, I cut a very, very tiny slit back on the back where the, the inlet hole is. And that is because I want the majority of the air to be forced out through here. And, you know, there's going to be enough force here to give that what it needs to be able to come out anyway. Um, it is basically done. I'm ready to fire up the blower and give it a test run. So you can see it's running now. It, uh, it stays up and you can see there's air escaping. That off. But you can see the grommet is working. I think I actually need a bigger grommet. So uh, I'm going to modify that and then we'll give it another test run. It's leaking air like crazy up around the tape. Uh, I might try a different tape and try and get that to stay on there a little better as well. But uh, we'll give it another test run here in a minute. Okay, I'll just blow it despite how loud it is. It actually doesn't work all that well. Uh, it just doesn't push out enough air. We're going to get a bigger leak blower. So we may be wondering what that antifreeze is for. Because there needs to be a little weight in the front to balance out the weight in the back. And this is just kind of keeping the concept. I'll give a little push with my foot. See, it glides along. Um, when we get another leak blower, I'll do another video, hopefully with me riding. But uh, thanks for watching, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.